Hello guys and uh, welcome to another video of my applications and today I will be showing you a um, quite new cool app that I made today and uh, what this actually does it it is that it um, it's a proxy application and it allows you to connect to another computer via uh, yet another computer okay now uh, actually how this works is um, just let me turn you on okay so as you can see here uh, this is the main window of the application and what this actually does is that if you have a uh, computer like uh, you, you have a computer somewhere like um, you have this computer which is a client anywhere around the world and this is the computer that the proxy will be running on and this is the server or the location where this computer wants to reach and in this photo uh, it shows that uh, in the normal instance the computer tries to access the server directly and with the mini proxy application the computer communicates with the target server via uh, via uh, this another computer and um, here is a short d description that I will be putting in the description of the video and uh, for more information you should download the app and try it out um, okay now basically how this works is uh, that it has uh, quite a few buttons and interfaces uh, but basically the most important are here the current server port which by default is 1234 and uh, you should port forward this uh, port on your Wi-Fi router on your router uh, wherever and uh, here is the target server IP now what this is uh, it consists of the IP and uh, the port on which uh, you will connect to and uh, for example I will be using the game Minecraft in, uh, in this one and um, what it actually does like I'm gonna show you a uh, more graphical interface about it and uh, for example if I go here to multiplayer I just choose a random server like here this one for those factions just copy this and put it here uh, instead of the server target IP and um, then then what you will have to do is uh, hit start server and if you if you don't if you I mean if you didn't encounter any errors during this process you should you shall see here starting up server and accepting connection on port 1234 now if Windows asks you about this uh, I mean Windows firewall if it asks you for permission to um, let this application run just hit it allow and let, let it run flawlessly now um, if you go up here you will see that um, I mean if I, if I go to localhost no or here so uh, I, I go to the main uh, multiplayer menu and as you will see here the local host which local host is this computer uh, will be linked to that server that I typed here and that server is right down here and you see it's different IPs and it's still the same information now um, I will be uh, I mean it has some issues right now it's in the beta version and what the issues are is that you have to stop the server and restart the server after you refreshed the Minecraft server list in this example and you just have to click join server it will say here success and everything will, will, will go on and now as you can see um, I am online I have actually no lag as you can see I can fire the bow with no lag uh, and this is quite efficient to be honest and um, well this was how the app works in uh, big terms now it has uh, yet an, some more functions such as the corrupt button which is actually pretty interesting uh, and what this does is that if you for example if you start a local host server okay you see this here stop and start again okay now it, after you connect to the server using the application it will say that I mean if, if you hit the corrupt button now what you, you might ask yourself what the hell does the corrupt button do uh, it actually closes and uh, miss 
I mean, uh, it, it, it kind of breaks the data stream between the server and the client. Now, you, you see, if I hit corrupt over here, it says that uh, string corrupted, blah, blah, blah. And up here in the left corner, you will see that I actually, I'm having lag and I am, um, I'm disconnected from the server because the data stream has been corrupted. And here it says, that I have a fatal error while transferring bytes via proxy. Okay, now this is what this button does. Now uh, the, the other function, uh, the other functions uh, you might want to use are um, the indicators that show you the bytes transferred between the server and the proxy. And they are uh, in. Oh, I'm sorry about that. In in this case. Oh my God. Okay, and in this case, um, you have two boxes, like the left one and the right one, and um, here are the two. Oh, stop calling me for fuck's sake. And uh, now, if you take like the the right one, if you take the right one, uh, it will show the data being sent from the serv from the proxy. I mean, from this thing to the server. And if you, if I go here, like in multiplayer, you see that it transfers the bytes two, five, four, and one. And uh, this isn't actually very important; it's just for geeky stuff, uh, and you should not really use it. And uh, here is the help menu, as I told you. And um, uh, I think this is all. Well, this is my proxy server application, and. Um, it's guaranteed to be working on Minecraft, for example, and uh, it yet might work uh, on another game or another thing as well. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will leave a download link for the application in the description if you ask for it or if you think you might use it. Well, uh, thanks again for watching, and a subscribe would be good, so thank you in advance if you do. Okay, this was it. Bye-bye.